what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Austin Salmon here. And I don't know why I pointed behind me. I meant me. Um Austin Salem here. And in today's review, today's uh Ah fuck it, I just said it. In today's video, we are not gonna be doing a reaction. Today's video is a review. We're doing two reviews. So over here I've got the lovely pristine condition box of Trix Tracks. This um, is a new sort of, kind of, um, Trix cereal. I don't, maybe it's been out before. Um, but we got a new Trix cereal. And it is, you know, sponsoring and promoting the new Jurassic World that just came out uh, two days ago. So, or three days ago, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I said I was going to do this for a while, and I'm going to be doing it right now. I got my microphone set up, I got the bowl here, I got a spoon, and uh, we're, we're going to try this. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. It could go one of two ways. It could go really good, or it could go really fucking bad. Oh, also... I got some milk here too, so, but yeah, so, we're gonna open up this nice bag of cereal, and not drop any on the fucking floor, and yeah, so I'm doing this in my recording room, because I don't have another camera to fucking do reviews, um, any other place, so, with that being said, I'm gonna pour this in here. Get that poured in there, nice and tight. We'll put this motherfucker over here where it belongs. That's they get me another box up to display here in the room. Yeah, and just so you guys know, anything that has to do with horror or monsters or you know such as Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, I'm gonna collect. And one of the cereal, uh, has, the fact that cereal has Rexy on it, I wanted to collect the cereal. So, I may be getting me another one. Uh, but anyway, so, we're gonna pour this in here. Oh, just listen to that. And now, we're gonna get the bowl here. Nice. And, yeah, got some nice, I don't know if you guys can see it. But you got some nice fucking uh, Rexy paws in here. You know, see this? Oh, shit. You see that? You got some nice Rexy paws right there. And you got the marshmallows. The marshmallows. Mallows. Oh, shit. That's a typical marshmallow. Nothing too fancy. But now I really want to get into is the flavor of the cereal with the milk. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna try this, and uh, bottoms up. Hmm. One more bite. Well, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, which is good. Um, but the consistency of the sweetness is not there. Um, you've got you got your grains in there. You know that, that kind of weedy, grainy taste, or whatever you want to call it, that bland taste. Um, so you got that along with the sweetness, um, and there's just not enough consistency of the two. It's not balanced out real well. Um, the marshmallows don't help a, a whole ton. Um, but it, it for for a box cereal, 
it's it's not bad, you know. Um, I don't think I'll ever try it again. I mean, I'm gonna have to eat this whole thing anyway because I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Um, but it's 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 your typical box cereal. Um, just you know, adding some fancy shapes to it and um, yeah, and you know, hell. It's going to happen eventually, you know. I'm probably going to get the shit beat out of me now because, you know, Trex is for kids, you know. Like, feeling like Liam Neeson and fucking Ted 2. Or Ted. Yeah, Ted 2. When he asks... <laughs> you guys remember that scene when he, when Ted, when he asks uh, Ted? He goes, if I get this cereal, I won't be followed. I'm feeling a little bit like Liam Neeson now. I'm going to fucking have somebody come in here and beat the hell out of me. Then I won't be able to do reaction videos no more. God damn it. But, anyway. But yeah, so... Um... I mean, it's your typical box cereal. Nothing too... Too special about it. Other than, you know, the Rexy picture and, you know, that kind of shit. Now, I'm not saying that shit. You know, I'm still going to get a box for the room. Uh, for my recording room here, um, to add to my collection, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an okay cereal, it's not, it's nothing too, nothing too fancy, um, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I get about a 5, that's, that's how good it is. It's good, but it's not great. You know? It's not... It's not bad, but it's not good. I, I don't... I don't know if that makes sense. Um... But yeah. So that was my review... Of... The, uh... Trick Track Cereal. It's got 150 calories. Holy shit. Fuck. Um, I might have to fucking hit up Mike and Jay from what we watched the movie and have them, uh, give me that goddamn, uh, that promotional code for fucking the keto cereal. Goddamn. Wow. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so that was my review of the Trick Track cereal. Nothing too fancy. Um, nothing too good. Not too bad, but not too good either. So... Um, yeah. Um, with that being said, we're going to go to our next review, which is going to be probably my favorite one. I've, ne I've, I've always wanted to review an energy drink. Um, the reason I got these energy drinks, the, the G Fuel energy drinks, is because they, I, I mean, I know that they're more for gamers than really anything else, but I use them just to help me focus on, um, whether it be working at my other job, but I, I mean, I, I've never drinking them working at my other job, I, I just never, never felt that that was a purpose, that I needed to use them for that, but I definitely, when I am recording videos and when I am, um, trying to focus on, you know, getting an, getting an edit on the video, um, or, you know, you know, um, putting the video together, uh, I do need to have one just because it does help me have that focus. It does help me have that, that train of thought it does help me keep me awake and keep me going. Um, so yeah, but before we get into that review, do you guys remember when I did the, um, the fucking uh, Sonic the Hedgehog trailer reaction. The Sonic the Hedgehog 2 trailer reaction. Um, for, for, for two, for two reasons, two, two things about that. I watched Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Fucking phenomenal. Um, Idris Elba did an incredible job with the voice acting for Knuckles. Um... Uh, Jim Carrey, amazing as always. 
the fucking hilarious little my my favorite part of the film. I'm sure everybody's seen it by now, so this is a spoiler. Um, well, not not really, but th there is a part in there that I like when uh, th that I really love and make me laugh is when um, Doctor Robotnik shows up. He comes back from the the mushroom planet, and after making cutting a deal with Knuckles. Um, and that cafe that his, his, um, whatever you want to call it, his slave, uh, his henchman, whatever you want to call it, his assistant. There you go. Assistant. Don't use those other two words. Cut those out. Um, but his assistant, he's working at a Starbucks looking place. And finds out that Dr. Robotnik is on planet Earth now. Um, just fucking the whole scene where he, where they're getting ready to go after Sonic. And he <laughs> drinks his coffee. <laughs> he drinks his uh, coffee or tea or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, that his assistant always makes him. And fucking, <laughs> he goes... Oh my god. I'm sorry. Any any hilarious movie scene that I've watched that has somebody doing coffee, it, it just always gets to me. Because I love coffee. I'm a, very, I'm a coffee. I'm a fucking coffee addict when it comes to coffee. I drink it at all times of the day. I'm starting to feel like a little bit like AGP. Anyway. With that being said, um, yeah. So. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, like I said, fucking phenomenal movie. Um, and also, I did finally get something for this. And I'm really fucking happy with the way it looks. Um, it looks so much better and, it, and it's going to stay clean. It's going to stay in, in, in pristine condition when I, when I got it um, from this customer at my, at my job. Thank you. By the way, if you are watching this, if you do scroll upon this video, you know who you are. Thank you for giving me this awesome poster because it's fucking amazing. And I'm glad that I got my hands on it. So, thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, I finally got a frame for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 poster. I finally got it. And, and as you can see, I got, like, I got a few other ones. So, um, I got the Jason one back there. The Friday Thirteenth, the game, pic, uh, poster in the in a frame. I've got my two Undertaker posters. Hey, my goodness, I'm fucking tired. I got my two Undertaker, my Hell in a Cell poster, and my Backlash poster. Um, over here in the frame as well. Um, and also, my wife is into um. Ghibli Studios Ghibli and so I got her a, a while back I think it was for Christmas yeah it was for Christmas um or maybe it was maybe it was for her birthday no it was for her birthday yeah yeah it was for her birthday um no it was not for her birthday sorry I'm getting all mixed up it they were a couple of late Christmas gifts I got her the complete collection of all 13 or um, maybe it's more uh, but I got her the whole, the whole collection of the Studio Ghibli's films um, and she fucking loves them um, she actually cried when I got her uh, the uh, Gigi stuffed plush from Kiki's delivery service so um, that was awesome to see um, her reaction to that but I also got her a Howl's Moving Castle poster. And we had it up for a while. Um, and she didn't like the way it was up, it was up there. I mean, she liked that it was up there, but she didn't like the way it was up there. So I took it down. And then when I got this, I it fit perfectly into the frame. So I decided to frame it for her. And now it's in our living room in a frame. And I'm and not going to get tampered with, not going to get fucked up in any way, shape, or form. Just like this. 
So, yeah. Like I said, thank you, dude, for um, whoever your name is. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't ask your name. Um, but thank you so much for this poster. Really awesome. Thank you. Uh, with that being said, we go to our second review for the video. I gotta see where the fuck I'm at on this. Shit. Aha! Aha! <laughs> anyway, so. Now, this comes to our second review. The Sonic the Hedgehog Limited Edition um, G Fuel Energy Drink. Um, it is peach flavored. It's peach rings flavor. And here's the other thing I like about these is they have no fucking calories in them. And yeah, they got fucking sodium and, and shit like that. But they've also got B12 and they've also got vitamin C, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. So there's a couple good things about this that I like. Gotta get your vitamins. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so... We're going to try this. I'm going to pop this sucker open. And well, we're going to go to town. So. As I've said before. Bottoms up. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yes, bro. Woo. I mean, who doesn't fucking love G Fuel? G Fuel is fucking the the, the top notch fucking G, uh, energy drink, especially for me, because no, let me tell you about this. So, any energy drink drink that I've drank that you guys are probably drinking, it does not work for me. Whether it be Monster, Rockstar, um, uh, Bucked Up, um, you know, fucking the Starbucks energy drinks, none of them work for me. Not at all. And when I found out that these were at my local gas station, um, just over here on State Street, or uh, uh, Main Street, sorry, over here in Pleasant Grove on Main Street, when I found out that they were at my 7-Eleven gas station, I went and got quite a few of these. I got four of them. Um, I don't remember what the flavors were, but they had the PewDiePie one. And then they had this one, and I was really, 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 really wanting to try this one. And I'm so fucking glad I did, because it is fucking amazing. I'm going to take another swig. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. I like the way you make them. Wow. Holy shit. Well, that woke my ass up. Hey, guys. I'm here. <laughs> wow. The peach is coming through like I can taste it. It's almost got a tang to it. Um, but I think that's just from the, from the carbonation. Or the... Uh... Yeah. I think that's just from the fucking... Uh... the energy drink type flavor i think that's just from that but the 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 peach is definitely coming through and it's really balanced out and it's it really hits the spot holy shit and not only that but the fucking art work on this can looks fucking amazing i mean holy shit G Fuel, I don't know who you get to do your artwork, but holy fuck. Keep it up. Jesus Christ. But yeah, so. Wow. 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 Holy shit. Anyway, that was my review. Uh, my two reviews for today. Um, also, I do apologize for the late upload. I know that I'm trying, I'm supposed to be getting these videos out every single day. And I have been 
over the last couple days. And I want to keep that going. But I think... I think my problem was just... I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do these reviews. That and work has been fucking tough. You know, I've been working by myself 50 hours a week. Every single night, practically. Um, almost. And... It just takes a lot out of you. Um, especially where I'm working. Um, but fucking, yeah. But I think the, not, not, not just work, but I think the main reason was because I was trying to, you know, figure out how I wanted to get these videos out. And get, especially this video, because I've never done a review before. You can ask my wife, you can ask anybody I know, anybody that knows me, I have never done a fucking food review. Never done a food review, never done a drink review, nothing. So this is kind of my first official type review, um, especially on my YouTube channel. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, hopefully you guys liked what you saw, you know, how what I thought of them. Um, let me know what you guys' thoughts are, definitely. And what would you like me to review next? I, I would love to do some more food reviews. Um, and um, maybe we can make that some part of the channel too. Because like I said, I've got an, unbo I've got a an unboxing video planned. Um, there is one that I am definitely going to be doing. Um... I went on. Tr I I got I I got in contact over email with Trick or Treat Studios about a certain doll. Um. Now, the doll is not going to be shipping until around before Christmas time or, or around Christmas. So. That's gonna that's gonna really help a lot because it helped me, you know, get get the uh, fun get the funding and 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 the um, the finances up for it. Um, but I'm planning on getting two of them because one is actually gonna be for my daughter. Because so here's the thing about my daughter, and and you guys can say whatever you want, you know, but at the end of the day. Father, like, daughter, like father. Um, she love. She's two years old, okay, and she absolutely loves Child's Play. She loves Child's Play. She loves Halloween. Um, she has no problem with them. She she's, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I really don't. But she absolutely loves. Anything scary, horror movies. I have some horror figures back here. If you look back there, you got uh, Freddy, Michael, um, and you got the two Pennywise clowns back, the two Pennywise figures back there. She absolutely loves them. Um, she loves playing around with them. She loves holding them. Um, you know, I, I try and make sure that she's careful with them because these are out of the box. Um, for one thing, so the value is kind of dropped on them. But also, they're very fragile figures, in, in my mind. They're NECA figures, but they're pretty fragile, at least in my mind. So I don't want them to get broken or anything like that. Um, I did give her a Jason figure, but that's only because I have an extra one in my closet... In my bedroom. I have an extra one that's not out of the box. Haven't even considered taking it out of the box. I might hang it in the room somewhere. Um, but that's one, one figure that I'm absolutely not going to take out of the box. Because I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's a part three figure. So, um, with that being said, she absolutely loves Chucky, Michael Myers, um... I did, have not shown her the new movies yet because they are fucking bloody and horrible as hell. Um, not in a bad way, but in a way that it's not good for a child to see. Um, she has seen the first Halloween, other than the nudity parts. I completely 
black out on nudity. Do not allow any of my children, even though I only have the one child, I don't allow them to watch shit like that. Um, but Halloween, it wasn't really gory. The reason I showed her, to, I let her watch it is because it's not really gory. Uh, there's not a whole lot of blood. Really, rarely any blood except for the fucking scene with Lori where, you know, Michael, you know, stabs her with a knife. Um, or cuts her with a knife. So, I let her watch that because there's not really any blood and it's not, it's more of a, it's a rated R movie, but it's, you know, kind of classic rated R, so there wasn't as much blood, and, yeah, so, um, but she has seen Child's Play, the first one, the original with Brad Dourif, not the new one with, um, Mark Hamill, um, but she has seen Child's Play, so, with that being said, I am getting her a, a her own good guy doll because she loves Chucky, and every time I that he pop that the good guy doll pops up on TV, uh, during whether it be a movie, um, showing on on TV or whether it, me and my wife are watching it or just whatever, um, whenever it pops up on TV or on my computer here. She absolutely loses her shit. She gets excited. She gets pumped up. And so I decided that for Christmas, she is getting her own good guy doll. Now, this one that I'm getting, it's the plush version. So it's got the, you know, the hands, the regular hands, the regular shoes, the regular, bo the regular plastic head. But the, the, from the legs and the, the, body part of it are plush um so it it gives it that it's supposed to give it that look it's supposed to give it that flimsy kind of look that it had in the first child's play you know when at maggie it, when maggie is walking around with chucky and he's like you know flopping around and stuff it's supposed to have that look about it and that feel about it so hopefully 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 it'll be money well spent so um, and hopefully she'll, my, and hopefully Elena will like it, regardless. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, um, look forward to a Christmas type unboxing later this year. Um, but also, I am trying to get some other unboxing videos going. So bear with me, because I would like to have unboxing videos on here, as well as food reviews, mm -hmm. And, of course, the reactions. So, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Um, and comment down below on what you'd like to see next, what kind of video reaction, whether it be a horror movie uh, or a horror short film, um, funny skit, um, angry grandpa video, angry grandma, whatever you feel I would love. Um, I watch a video YouTube nonstop. Um, I listen to it at night and um, when I'm going to bed. So I'm on YouTube all the fucking time. So if there's a video that you guys absolutely want me to fucking watch, please post it down in the comments. And also hit that like button. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. And we will see you guys in the next video. See ya.